Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you've never been on this channel before, my channel is a place where I talk about all of the pets that I have and how I take care of them. So today we're going to be talking about a tank that I recently bought for my frogs. I have two white tree frogs. I'm super excited about showing you guys this tank and doing a review on it because when I was purchasing this tank, I wanted to hear about people's reviews and I couldn't really find any. And so I decided I should just make my own. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Exoterra Terrarium Size Extra Small. For those of you that don't know, this is a 50 gallon tank. It is one that is extra tall, as it says in the name. And I wanted to go over the experience that I've had with it to help you guys if you're thinking about purchasing this tank. So right now we're gonna get right into the unboxing and then we're gonna come back and talk about it a little bit later. So one good thing about this tank that I really like is the fact that the doors open in the front. This allows for, you know, very easy cleaning, very easy access. All I'd have to do is open the front. It opens up like this. I can easily change their water. I can easily give them, you know, bugs. I can easily change out the dirt in the bottom. Um, and so this is something that I really like about the tank. Another thing that I really like about the tank is how, how big it is. I love that it's 50 gallons and it gives me a lot of room to really create a space that I really like for them. Now we're gonna talk about one of the only things that I don't like about this tank. And it's not necessarily something that I don't like, but I just wanna let you guys know that this is something that I'm experiencing. And so I want you to be aware of this before you were to buy this tank. If you have an animal that you're wanting to put in this tank that is very heat sensitive or temperature sensitive, this may not be the tank for you. The reason that I say that is because I found that in this tank, at the top of the tank, the temperature, you know, is hotter, what I would want it to be, and at the bottom, it's cooler. And so for my white tree frogs, this isn't a very big problem for them and it's okay, but if you had something that needed a steady heat throughout the tank or the enclosure, I'm not really sure if this would be a good option for you. And so I would maybe look into something different. Um, just some extra facts about this tank. It does weigh, I think, anywhere from 50 to 60 pounds, and so you can't expect for that. Um, it does come with a background, which I chose not to use because I wanted to kind of make my own. I wanted to um, put some you know, pieces of wood in there that I really liked. Um, but yeah, I mean, other than that, I think that this is a really great tank to have. If you're looking for a 50 gallon tank for your animals or your reptiles or amphibians, whatever it is. Um, I think this is a great tank to consider and I hope that I've given you some things to think about and maybe sold you on a really awesome tank. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope that I've been able to help you as you're considering what you're going to be buying next. Um, I hope that you come back for my next video because I'm going to be talking about my hermit crabs, my fish, my frogs. we got a lot of things happening here and so I hope that you'll come back. If you want to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it, just so you are able to see the videos that I post next. So, thank you guys for watching, and I hope I'll see you next time.
Bye, you guys.